All right, welcome back to Cyberpunk. We got very little left to do. Uh, for the main game, at least. We just have to call Ozob. It's a side mission. This is a side mission. So it's not that important. It's just that I like to finish everything, rather. So it's just a catalog of uh, most of what the game has to offer. So we got to do that, and then we're going to go and meet Blue Moon. Ooh. I think, yeah. Yeah, she was, what, part of that band that Carrie was? Uh, collabor uh, collaborating with? Yeah. And I know in one of the, in another mission, he becomes a, a fighter that you can box with, but you can actually kill him by punching his nose. You'll see why in a second. It's V. Heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. Mm-hmm. And for what, exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. A couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Listen, I'm a straight shooter, so let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like working with the best. And I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. You got what it takes, or are they wrong about you? All right, I'm in. Japan town then, by the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. All right. I have to do a bit of work for this guy. Hey, you're V, yes? Yeah! Oh, fuck. You didn't answer my question. Uh, there's something on your face. The grenade. Can I ask why? You have a, a juggling accident or something? Not cool. You ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself. You are V, correct? Yeah, that's me. Good, then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Good lord. <laughs> Doesn't that bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one in your face. Now you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. What are you gonna pick? It's a it's a grenade. It's a literal grenade. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South. I know where Brazil is. Huh. You never know with you gringos. <laughs> Brazil. He doesn't sound Brazilian. We expect a Portuguese Look accent. Out. Tiger claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? Just asking. Can't help being curious. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. We came all this way to get takeout? You could say that. Yeah, I know what that's for. I tried to zoom in, I accidentally pressed the top button. Was 
got grenades up your ass, too? Would have been even better if you'd told me what you were planning from the get-go. <laughs> it's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit. Okay? Now are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Unhappy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got any powder for my nose? <laughs> and does it work? Not really. <laughs> what about my payment? What about it? Here. Like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. Good lord. Is he just gonna stand in front of the, <laughs> in front of the vendor? <laughs> Doing nothing? He's just browsing. All right. <laughs> Excuse me, wait, 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 what is that? What? What? When did it say I got his grenade? Is that like a... Where is it? Okay, that's an altar. Oh, I can't check all of this. Also, why do I have so much nonsense? Hockeys. Oh. Where is it? Wait, is that like a customization option or something? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not putting that on my. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Too close, okay? We can't spook our guy. Keep your eyes peeled for anyone lurking around, watching me, spying on me from above, whatever. Anything creepy like that. Got it. <sighs> okay. Here it goes. Red Menace is keeping an extra lookout from a vantage point high up. Wish me luck. Does she have two irises in each of her eyes? I think I know. Oh well, it's got to be the person that's highlighted in red now, huh? Literally the only person that's highlighted red in this whole place. Ugh, crusty old geezers. Yeah, and she has a health bar. Thunderstalker, stay where you are. Oh, okay. Moon, 
I've got her. Did you say her? Oh, well, there's a twist. I'm heading there right now. Oh god. Stalkers. Imagine being obsessed with someone so much. They said she said red minister somewhere around here. Yeah? There she is. She's right over there. That's another band member. That's so cool. How... How do you know it was her? She was acting weird. Turned out she was also packing iron and pictures of you. With your eyes cut out. Pretty solid evidence, wouldn't you say? Oh my god, V! Thank you, thank you so much! Don't mention it. It's what I was paid to do. A girl like that. Who'd have thought? What... What do we do now? I could talk to her, but, uh... Wait till the badges get here. But what about when they let her out? Or, or she escapes? Then you give me another call. Okay. You're right. I... Thank you. For everything. I'll transfer your Eddie soon. Promise. Go get a stiff drink. Cool your nerves. Take care, Blue Moon. Now that that's over, you okay? I knew you'd come through. You're amazing. Lucky that was quick. I don't know why I decided to do this, but okay. This is, uh... The you RF... Like the this is Arasaka Estate. I don't know whether I, uh... I did this already, or it's been a while. Bro took out his own leg. Okay, that was my fault. I was playing Fallout 4 on the side, trying out its new update. It didn't change much other than the 60 frames a second. And also, I can actually play the game in the city now, now that it works. But the fact that it stayed like that for years is um, incredible. Incredible that they didn't even do anything until now. I was supposed to meet Hanako. I'm sure this is her house or something, and I'm just doing a home invasion. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't. I would have taken this then. Genjiro. Oh man, I thought I was out of there. That doesn't make any sense. I like how it breaks. I'm a simple man.
Okay, what else is here? Yorinobu just walks up and sees a person with a submachine gun. It's a beautiful view of the city. The fact that they don't even stay here often is a crime. Goddamn Ro Yorinobu or Osaka. Like a genuine- why would anyone want to side with them? I don't use the door. Especially not here. I steal their food. I make that microwave not work. <laughs> That's a netrunner chair. This looks like a very westernized version of what you would call Japanese architecture. This whole, like, plot. I wish I could take that car. They even got a... that special version of the... muscle car. The wide body... uh... What is it? Type 66, they call it. Yeah. That's the normal one. That's the special edition. That's wild. Uh. Can't do that. Alright. I think I've had enough here. <laughs> well, I connected all of the uh, tarot cards, so. I tell you, no, the no. worst thing is the Arasakas are no ordinary players. They're not even human! Vampires, the lot! Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead! Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead! I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. Mark That my... wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri! It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil's spawn! Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets! They gonna find you! Let them! The seed has been sown! The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches! Okay. I recognize you. Okay. <laughs> you come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Actually, you know what? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. If you turn a blind eye to their existence... $12,000. That's gonna get him... I don't know how long. What? Gave him $12,000. What the hell am I thinking? <laughs> Brooks, yes! 
But when the full moon rises, they remove their human masks. And what hides underneath, you ask? Reptilians? I answer you, no! Not reptilians, but werewolves! At sunset, they strip off their clothes and dance nakedly, giving in to an animalistic ecstasy. Then, once they've transformed into the fanged beasts, they set off on the hunt, hungry for human flesh. Dozens of miles they cover in the darkness, with ferocious speed, like arrows in the night! They aren't looking for a cure? You'd think all those mutilated bodies would attract some attention. Would a bird seek a cure for flight? Would a star wish to dim its glow? A werewolf is a free beast, unbound by reptilian law. Better to become a man-eater than to live in chains. And the cause behind these monstrous horrors? Years ago, a ship from Alpha Centauri crash-landed in the Badlands. Legend tells that it carried a substance highly sought after by the vampire elite in Arasaka. It could transform Saburo's enemies into werewolves, leashed and bound to his will. But the crash was you got a problem with Nomad's freak? Better Where shut the? your fat fucking mouth before I put you six feet under. You can break my bones, but you cannot stop the pursuit of truth. Howdy, fellas. How's life with the Aldecaldos? Look who it is. V. It's all good. Pan Am's kicking off a new role. Say, you know this nut job? <laughs> a little. He's totally harmless. Says things that make a politician look like a beacon of truth. Were you aware that Hanako Arasaka is a vampire? <laughs> the fuck? And here I was, all offended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta tell Saul, or, you know, eat somebody, then disappear like an arrow in the night. Have a good one, V. That was close. They're not as dangerous in the daylight, but it still could have ended badly. Thank you for your concern, though I could have done without the mockery. No problem. I mean, who's gonna tell me we faked the Mars landing if I let him knock your teeth out? You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked? When they take me for a false prophet? It's hard to take there your is. interpretations seriously, but there is a little truth in what you say. Sometimes even more than a little. You see it too! You know that behind a veil of darkness lurk creatures from our nightmares, but you fear to believe it! You know, if you had any kind of real evidence for this grand cosmic plot? I do! Tonight! They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to exchange something important! Observe them! Seize this item, this Alpha Centauri artifact! You'll see I was right from the beginning! Wait, wait, hold on. How do you even know about this meeting? Their radio waves resonate within my brain. Ever since the accident, I've heard their secret broadcasts. The accident. You know that doesn't instill confidence, right? You don't understand! I have their co-processor in my head! I don't know how my Ripper Doc got his hands on it. But thanks to this, I can listen into their plots and schemes. If you help me, we can save this planet together! Okay, see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late. All could be lost. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure, got it. Well, okay, there's the quest. You know what's funny? Werewolves are an actual thing in Cyberpunk. They're just not the werewolves at normal. I mean, you see all the cybernetics and everything. Well, according to the law, someone put a werewolf's head, not, not a werewolf, a normal wolf's head on a human body and then modified the human body further. So the body is piloted by the brain of a wolf. So that's what created the whole werewolf thing. 
So, yeah, technically werewolves are a thing in Cyberpunk, which is the craziest shit you could ever hear. But yeah. Yeah, there is. So this guy is like 50% right, 50% batshit crazy. I mean, that's usually the thing about conspiracy theories, right? Let's go find out what this was. The time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno necromancers? Spanish Inquisition. The Spanish Inquisition. I admit, I didn't expect that. Enough joking around. Gotta be quiet, gotta wait. No one. As expected, I guess. Gotta be honest, though, I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Whoa. Maelstrom. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone actually showed. It's Maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. But you can also. Isn't there, like, also, like, a reptile thing? Like. Cybernetics, cybernetics you can get. Some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. What says the wolf father to the moon mother as she descends to Earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow, but today they are protected by our children, whose name is Patricide. What? age of his failure, he became lost in the forest. Lilith has concealed... How long was that? They saw nothing coming. That was insanely fast. Mystery trip. Covered in strange symbols. I guarantee you that has something to do with the Black Wall. And I all was the hoping for green blood. Life really is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip. I mean, you got the white blood, but that's like... Standard, because they all got cybernetics. And they had to replace their blood with this blood substitute. But that's crazy that something is actually... What is this? John Doe? Let me guess. Jane Doe. Who is this? Well, okay. I need to watch that video again about what, how, about the explanation behind this. 
that's how I learned that werewolves were an actual thing. And, uh, believe it or not, furries too. But more like the edgy kind. Because, well, this is cyberpunk. Everything has to have edge. Give us our Gary back! Oh, he's Have gone? the Centuri agents kidnap our prophet! Where's Gary? What happened? I warned him! Some black suits came by, blue eyes and all, looked just like he said. Then, then they threw him in an AV and, and flew him to the mothership! And you saw this mothership? How could I? They sprayed this black mist, couldn't see nothing! Poor Gary! He sacrificed himself for us! Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centauri! Care to spare a few eddies? In love and memory? Ah, uh, you, uh, you know what this... Got this chip here. Mind taking a look? Hmm. <sighs> Gary did say you're devoted to our cause. I show me. I'll tell you what I know. Jesus Christ, hide that quick! Nobody can know, got it? Why, what is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this would happen! They here to bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppet. Oh, calm down. Who is? The Techno-Necromancers? And lo! They shall descend upon the Earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said! Night's coming! The Eternal Night! And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? Give us our Gary back! That lack of closure sucks. I don't disagree, but I had something else in mind. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. Where is your sense of imagination? I choose to believe that we narrowly avoided war with vampires and aliens. Don't we all? Vampires, aliens, reptilians, <laughs> all captivating, romantic even. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. Its corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastards skezzed out on their power fantasies. Think that's what we saw? Shady corporal boys? No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them. But, uh, anyway, I think what comes next is the finale. So, I hope to see you next time.